So in this video, I'm gonna be showing you four proven products that you can drop ship in 2021. Um, when I say proven products, I'm gonna show you why I call them proven. I'm gonna be showing you the Facebook ads themselves and all the engagement and data and information behind them. The plan as well, um, I know that a lot of you struggle with product research and finding products. So the plan is to do a video like this every week, maybe even every couple of weeks, depending if I can find good products. The product research process um, is really time consuming and it genuinely is difficult to find really really good products that I'm comfortable enough putting out on YouTube and recommending to you guys. So we'll see how we go on that one. So just take that as, when you're doing your product research, don't rush the process. In my opinion, it's arguably the most important part to any business is the products you sell. It doesn't matter how much traffic you drive to your site or how much money you spend on Facebook ads. If you're not selling a products that people want to buy, and then obviously you're not gonna make any money. So with that being said then guys, that's the topic of the video. Thanks for tuning in, hope you enjoy it. Um, I do I really appreciate all the support, by the way, on my recent uploads. I know I took some time off, so it's really nice to see some of you guys coming back and enjoying the videos again, so I really do appreciate that. Um, please do like the video if you do enjoy it, and of course, if you wanna see more from me, um, don't forget to subscribe as well. Thanks for tuning in, and let's jump straight into product number one. So product number one is what this company calls the Booze Bangle. Um, there's many reasons why it makes a list, but before we actually jump into what the product is and what those reasons are, um, let's take a look at the engagement, the reaction. So we can see 20K likes, 45K comments, and 30K shares. So when you see a really high kind of share to comment ratio, that's a really good illustration of a good product that's really suited for social media. The reason being is because it's somewhere around 200 friends is what the average Facebook user has. So every time somebody shares that, that's potentially up to 200 people which will also see that for free. So when you're running an ad and somebody shares that ad or comments, um, tags one of their friends per se, um, then you don't pay for that added reach, it's all organic reach. So a product that gets this sort of attention and gets people sharing it is obviously super ideal when advertising on social media. So we can see the likes and shares have steadily increased over time, which is good, really kind of healthy sign, good healthy sign of a good ad. We can see the demographics, so I really like that about this particular tool. There's gonna to be a video coming out on this shortly. Um, we can see the demographics, so essentially all the information you need to take this very same product and build a store around it is here on your screen right now. You know exactly what gender to target, exactly what age range, and exactly what countries as well this particular product is doing well in. So if we jump up, if you haven't guessed already, let's watch the video now and see exactly what it is so it's basically a plastic big bangle that somebody can wear on their forearm fill it full of their favorite alcohol whether that's a wine a spirit or cocktail something like this um, and then you can be a bit naughty obviously and sneak it into a particular event or festival or the cinema or wedding um, wherever you choose to go now the reason why I want to put it on the list is if you're in the UK right now then obviously we're still kind of in lockdown um, and then fingers crossed everything should be more or less back to normal come June so this will be the perfect time in which people will start going to events again they'll be going to weddings they'll be going back to cinemas they'll be going to pubs clubs um, festivals and so on the kind of normal places where people tend to sneak alcohol into so I think the timing is perfect for particular products like this um, if you wanted to say build a store around something like this and if it's something that kind of resonates with you and you think you can do well and you've got that gut feeling about it um, then by all means go for it one word of warning is just be careful with the particular wording that you use in your ads in your description um, if you come across as promoting and encouraging people binge drinking or any kind of consumption of alcohol I and mean, that's a big no-no of Facebook and it could lead to your ad account getting banned. So I've gone ahead as well um, I found the products on AliExpress. I haven't found them on CJ yet because I tend to go to AliExpress first to find the product and then if it's not on CJ, just post a source and request and they're usually pretty fast and pretty quick, pretty good, sorry, I'm actually finding the product. So £5.62 delivered. Um, so it's super cheap, definitely enough room in there. I would probably bundle this with another product or sell two or three in a pack. Chances are if somebody sees this, they have a group of friends they'd want to share it with or perhaps buy one for. So I see absolutely no reason why somebody wouldn't pay say 25, 30 pounds um, for a pair or say for a set of three or something. Moving on to product number two. Now I'm not gonna lie, um, before I discovered this product, I had no idea what a bunion was. I didn't even realize it was a thing. 
but judging by the sheer amount of engagement this particular ad has got then it's obviously quite a popular thing that people suffer with and quite an important issue for people to have this sort of reaction to it so 70k likes um, again a really high ratio of shares to comments so 85,000 shares that is incredible um, to 120k comments steady growth and incline which is good and then again we've got the exact demographics now this is one of the reasons why I had to put this in this video is because the average Facebook user I believe is around maybe late 30s maybe a bit older sort of um, low 40s maybe mid 40s um, and this after doing a bit of research tends to be an issue or a condition um, that the kind of elder generation um, suffer from so certainly my parents generation may be a bit older which co-adheres um, if that's the correct word with the kind of general age group that are now on Facebook so I mean, this is kind of backed up by the information on screen now we can see that 40% of the people are 60 plus um, and then obviously we've got 40 to 50 so it is those people that are kind of 40 plus, which then kind of matches the average user um, on Facebook nowadays. We can also see the countries, which is pretty much the big four bar that replaced the UK with the Netherlands. So if you are watching this now, then potentially there's a huge market um, to bring this to the UK essentially um, and advertise it here. If we have a quick watch of the video, we can see it's only 20 seconds long. Um, it's pretty kind of self-explanatory how it works. So you can see the condition there, which looks quite painful actually. So you kind of slow it down your foot, put it in the place, and then you use the band to kind of create a bit of force to kind of put it back, pull it back into line over time. I have no idea whether this actually works or not. And one thing I would do before going ahead and selling this is again, you've got to be careful with the imagery and the wording that you use but find some existing ads on Facebook using the Facebook ad library. Look at the particular comments. Um, people tend to go back to the actual ad itself um, and comment whether it works or not. So if you see loads of positive comments, then it's definitely a good product um, that I would seriously be considering. Um, I found it on AliExpress too, super cheap, so two pounds for the whole lot plus a pound delivery, so looking at three pound all in. I see no reason why somebody wouldn't pay say 30, 40 pounds for something like this if it's going to do um, what the ad actually claims. If you're gonna take somebody out of pain and solve that potentially really painful issue for them, the more valuable a product becomes um, in somebody's mind, in somebody's eyes. Moving on to product number three, we have a print on demand product. So you can see the design on screen now, it's kind of like a play on words. We have psychologist with a simple um, printed design onto a t-shirt. Um, I think this is perfect for here in the UK. Cycling is getting a lot bigger. As we come into the summer now too, a lot more people will be getting out on the roads on their bikes for sure. So again, just makes it kind of like the perfect and ideal time to sell this in the UK. The reactions are great too. A really high kind of ratio of shares to comments. And what's really good about the cycling niche too is it's super passionate. People absolutely love it. They spend a fortune on it. Um, spending an extra say 20 30 pounds on a particular t-shirt like this is nothing it's also the sort of thing that if somebody has a partner that's really interested in cycling if they discover or see this it will just pop up and think they'd make the ideal gift basically for somebody who has that loved one who's really interested in cycling we can have a look at the demographics and what we can see is they've pretty much just gone all over the place for a particular products like this that's one of the beauties of print on demand is that if you go with a big, really big supplier, you'll find ones that have factories all over the world, basically. So as long as you link it up correctly, you can sell globally, you can um, source globally too, so you can offer some really good shipping times, which just allows you to capitalize, which by the looks of things, this particular company um, has done. And again, as I've mentioned in the previous two products, we have the particular demographic as well um, of who's actually buying this. Just to give you an idea then of profit margins and retail prices, if you've never sold clothing before, it can be a bit of a minefield. Um, this is the site that's actually advertising this particular product. So they're selling the hoodie for 30 pounds, which is pretty cheap to be fair. I was surprised at that. A lot of print on demand suppliers I've seen um, will be more sort of around the 40 pound mark. And then this is 215, so this is a UK based print on demand company um, which are selling the products, including the print, for so about 14 pounds excluding VAT. So you're looking at about 16 pounds all in. So there's a fairly decent profit margin there to be had. But of course, within the cycling niche, there's so many different upsells and cross sell ideas which you can bundle with this um, to bring up that average order value. Moving on to product 
Number four then is this hair bun creator band type stick thing. I'm not really sure what it is, but again, there's a couple of reasons why I wanted to add it to the list. And I believe it's just because mainly, well, let's go through the engagement first. So 120K likes, which is obviously really good. A super high, almost map like identical. So 48K shares to 50K comments, which is awesome. Um, and if we look at the demographics, it's solely in the US too. So there's definitely a market for this. If it thing, things that do well in the US tend to do well in the UK too, to some degree. So definitely, potential there to bring this product to the UK if it's not already here. I suspect it will be, um, but still there's always potential. And the main reason why I wanted to put it on this list is because again, I think the timing is just ideal. As the vaccine rollout goes forward in the UK, um, and countries start coming off the list. So for example, I think Portugal came off the list today, which means I can go and play golf in Portugal now. But as more and more countries come off the list, more and more people will be able to travel. And I think this is just a great product for travel. If we watch the ad through, as you can see, it's a lady at a pool or a beach, some type of thing. It's the perfect thing to use on the beach or take traveling with you because it's just easy um, to like put your hair up and keep it out of the water or whatever you might use it for, I'm sure. Um, my girlfriend would be, could be able to come up with so many more uses than I can for particular products like this, but it just can't be ignored when you look at this sort of engagement um, and the sort of demographics and the countries that it's been selling in as well. I've gone ahead, as usual, found it on AliExpress. It's super, super cheap. So 80 pence plus delivery, 80 pence. So you're looking at about two pound delivered. Somebody would pay 30 pounds for three of these. So some really good healthy profit margins. And again, in this particular niche itself, there's so many different products that you can use as upsells that if you do it correctly, brand it correctly, maybe even bring on the right influencer, um, then definitely some potential for some really nice um, bottom line profit margins. And with that being said, then guys, that is all four products. Um, I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did, please do make sure you leave a like. Any comments, questions, video suggestions, honestly, whatever it is, just post it down below. I read every single one and I will get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe as well, of course, if you want to see more of my content. And one final thing before you go, if you are based in the UK and you're looking for somebody to give you that kind of guidance for a UK-based dropshipper that has that experience, uh, please do check out my Ecom Academy. It comes with all the content you could possibly need. It comes with my personal and direct one-on-one -on -one advice. Um, there will be a link in the video description below. If you want to jump on the phone and chat before calling, uh, before joining, sorry, there there is a callback service too so make sure you check that out in the video description below thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one